Northwestern. It'll be Taylor Anderson starting it off at the service line. And Terry, of course, getting the first touch and getting a piece of it is the Purdue block. And then Hudson snapping it down the line to get on the board first. Both teams go into their star arts outside hitters right away. Eva Hudson, such a smart play. She's inside the court. She's able to hit it over the blockers and cut that ball back down the line. Illinois still trying to find its depth to take a little bit of that load off, but this is going to help for Purdue an ace for the freshman Anderson. Another key to Purdue's success tonight is going to be serving tough. Illinois is not the best passing team, so the main goal of the match is to get them out of system right away. Chris Thomas in his seventh season leading the Illini, trying to make the NCAA tournament after missing two of the last three years. Tipped just over the net and a crafty move by Kari Bonk. Love the decision there by setter Brooke Mosier going right to her middles early in the set, trying to spread out that offense and get her middles involved. Bohm is more of a defensive middle, but getting her involved in the offense right away is going to be very helpful. They know how much attention the blocking that is directed at Raina Terry going up the middle going to be a good play for them. A service air will send Eva Hudson to the line now for Purdue. Mosier going behind her head to Burbage and dug by Skimmerhorn. Mosier cross court to Terry, gets the hands, and that's all she needs. Beautiful swing there by Reina Terry to get those high hands and score the point. But I want to point our attention to Maddie Skimmerhorn getting that one on one dig, absolutely sacrificing her body, but being able to read that defensive play is what, one of the reasons why Skimmerhorn is such a great defender. Fifth year player, an Indiana native, second team All Big Ten last year. She's one of the most solid in the back row in the Big Ten. Terry trying to just get it over and then right into the net. That's a tough one to give up. Definitely a little off-speed shot she was going for there. That's not one you want to give away in the match, but it is early in the match. She's trying to mix up her shots, probably still getting a little bit warm. So that's one you just kind of want to wash off and go to the next point. Dave Shondell in his 21st season as the Purdue head coach, longest tenured in the Big Ten. Without his brother and longtime assistant, John Shondell, just announcing his resignation due to personal and family reasons. And Coach Shondell said that the emotion of that actually maybe played a role in their couple losses this week, but they're ready to move on. The players miss him and love him, and that's just the reality of the situation right now they're working through. Terry has that sent right back. There by the Boilermakers, but it all starts from the service line. Raven Colvin is a fantastic server, and she's giving her team great opportunities here to set up a nice double block, get up in front of Raina Terry, who's in an out of system set situation. Great serving by Raven Colvin to start up the match. Colvin also fantastic at the service line, too, making it difficult. Cross court to Terry. And into the net, that'll be a point for the Boilermakers. Same thing as that last play. It all starts with a beautiful serve that gets the Illini out of system and forces them to send that ball to that outside pin. Reina Terry's there. They can set up a nice double block and shut her down. Some miscommunication for the Illini. It keeps them in system, though. And going off the block is Kennedy Collins. Kennedy Collins on the slide is so efficient. She's extremely good off of one foot, and she has so much range in her slide attacks. She's able to see where the blockers are. She has two blockers up there, uses the hands to score. Just such a veteran move by Collins in the middle. And she's 100% healthy now, and the Illini reaping the benefits of that. She played through that injury last year, but was hobbled on her same explosive self as she gets a piece of that from the swing off Chacoy. If you send a free ball to this Purdue team, there's weapons on every single part of the court. Both pins and obviously Lourdes Myers in the middle there. She gets up so high, is able to swing so fast. One of the best parts of her game is her incredibly fast arm swing that just beats those Illini blockers. Myers six foot three, but someone else who has dealt with injuries in her career, healthy and really getting her first good look 
for this top 20 team in the country. Scoring again is the Illini in Collins. Beautiful set there by Brooke Mosier. She's running all the way towards that outside pin, and she's able to reverse the flow, send that ball in the opposite direction of where she's coming to find Kennedy Collins on the slide for a kill. Collins two for two. The slide working to perfection right now. Anderson looks to Hudson. And the joust at the net won by Myers, who's a force early. Illinois just not able to control that dig off of Hudson's back row attack. And I love how Purdue is getting the back row attack involved early. It's getting giving Illinois some trouble, allows them to get a nice easy point up at the net there. The freshman Shacoin, huge season fourth in the Big Ten in kills per set and her serve just as explosive, which she lands in. Almost everything Chloe Shacoin does is exciting and explosive, and her serve is definitely one of those things. A great jump top spin serve that drops just at the end line where those Illinois players think is going to fall out. Purdue leading 10 to 4. The Illini calling a timeout, facing an early deficit. Very strong start for the number 19 Boilermakers up 10 to 4. They've also forced Raina Terry into four airs right now. That's negative 500 hitting. Purdue's game plan was to go after Raina Terry. It's been fairly successful to start out the match. Jessica Nunji going over the block. Hudson resetting and a big dig in the back row by Barnes. Middle, Shacoin unloading. Chloe Shacoin gets up so high and she's so fast. That's such a fast approach when she's in the back row. And then she's able to get up and see where those blockers are, hit it to where the defenders are not. Such a great shot out of the back row. And that takes a veteran volleyball IQ from the freshman. And an incredible athlete, too. She's listed at 5'10", bringing the offense and the defense, too. Off the overpass and then dropped right over and Purdue continuing to roll. A lot to love about that play. We got a pass from the middle to start and then the setter gets the kill. Great serve once again from Purdue to start the point out. Taylor Anderson taking one for herself. Purdue has been able to take advantage of Illinois mistakes. They have looked smooth. They've been in system for the most part too. Another overpass just off the tape. Nunji one more time, slicing it cross court, but that'll be a point to Purdue. Right now, it's all starting from the service line for Purdue, which was a big goal of the match, was to serve tough, get Illinois out of system so that their setter would be scrambling and have to set that outside pin, which their blockers are doing a great job of putting up four hands pressed over the net to shut them down. Even though Purdue lasts in the Big Ten in aces per sets, clearly making things difficult, but add another one for Shaquan, getting Illinois all out of sorts in serve receive. Illinois serve received definitely struggling right now with all types of serves, and Purdue has a great mix of serves. We saw a great float serve by Raven Colvin, and now Chloe Shacoin with two jump top spin aces. It's already three aces for Purdue, and another that is four. Not usually a place they excel. Chloe Shacoin is absolutely serving up some great heat from the service line. Chris Thomas definitely looking to talk to his team, maybe mix up their serve receive um, approach, maybe put four people back, figure out how they can stop this le lethal serve from the end line. Chloe Shaquoin, one of the strongest servers on this team with 15 aces this season, but just making it look easy right now from the service line. And that's so important because then that's disrupting Illinois getting into their offense. It definitely has not allowed Illinois to get any sort of offensive momentum so far. They're hitting negative four kills, five errors. And like I said, a lot of that came from the service line. When you serve so tough, you put those Illinois passers in a really difficult situation where they have to just try to keep the ball up in play. And then setter Claire Mosier has to run around trying to put up a good ball. And that makes it really difficult for their offense to get balanced, to get going. Purdue has just been attacking them. You got some nice float serves that just drop off the table from Taylor Anderson. And then, of course, Chloe Shacoin with a jump top spin serve that she does so well getting on top of, keeping speed. 
lead and makes it drop just at the end right in front of the passers. Serving is so important and so interesting because you are one-on-one, -on -one, you're by yourself, it's like a free throw, but yet there's still so much strategy involved. And we hear this from Coach Thomas, who often makes aggressive serving a part of his identity. This is a team that's top 200 in a couple of seasons, and it's kind of this balance of living on the edge versus playing it safe, and it looks like Purdue right now is deciding to go for it because they need this win. In the Big Ten, most of the time you have to go for it because teams are really good. If you don't go after it from the get-go, you're going to get in a tough situation. Overpass, but into the net by the Boilermakers. We'll give that point to the Illini, and they'll take it at this point. Definitely gives them a little bit of a breather getting Shaquoyne off that end line there. She had a great service run. Now they have their setter, Mosier, back there to serve, who also is a fantastic server. She goes right into the net. That's the broadcaster curse, Elena. Right there, you experienced it firsthand. I apologize, bro. <laughs> You're still a great server, even though I jinxed you. That'll send Maddie Skimmerhorn to the service line. Yeah. Getting underneath it is Barnes. Up the <laughs> middle, Terry, and that is in as she unleashes some heat. Beautiful offensive run there by Mosier to get Raina Terry involved in the back row. But my favorite part of that is the middle gets up, fools Raven Colvin in the middle, and Raina Terry has no blocker up there in front of her. Just a really well executed offensive play, make fooling the middle blocker on the other side of the net. That's what Coach Thomas calls the chess part of volleyball, trying to find any space for Terry without a whole lot of bodies and arms in front of her. <laughs> Hudson, meanwhile, just goes through the block no matter what. Hudson's such an athletic player, but she also has such a high volleyball IQ that she's able to see when she has blockers up in front of her. She knows I can't swing straight down into that block. So I'm gonna have to go off of those high hands, hit it towards like it's going out of bounds, but clip their hands so I'm able to get a point for my team. Taylor Anderson started off this game with an ace back at the service line. Mosier looking to Terry, taking some heat off. And Wollard going off the block, but she's rejected by the Illini. Raina Terry putting up an absolute wall with that block. She did such a great job getting her feet all the way out to where that set is and then pressing over. Wollard has nowhere to go. Raina Terry has absolutely sealed that net, pressing her left hand inside the court. Textbook. Textbook, exactly. Up the middle, it is Colvin. And she tries to go off the block, but another denial by the Illini. The setter connection with Raven Colvin is definitely one that they've been working on so far this season. Colvin's such a dynamic athlete. She's someone they want to get involved more in their offense and get her more efficient kills. That just lands in the back row in front of Skimmerhorn. And a couple points here for the Illini. Make it 17-9. to Definitely a bit of a miscommunication for Purdue there, but great serve by Barnes. Right between Hudson and Skimmerhorn. Hudson bailing out to be ready to attack. Nice pass by Hudson, and then she attacks. And Illinois can't get there for second contact. A nice swing by Hudson. Eva Hudson is so good at the pass to attack. As a hitter, as a six rotation hitter, that's really hard to do. But she's able to pass that first ball and then transition to be an attacker for her setter. And that's also a, a next level type of skill that we're talking about her sophomore season. As Collins is denied, Colvin saying no. Raven Colvin not only gets up so high, but she moves laterally so well. She's able to take that jump, dive to her right, and seal the net. Great block for Colvin. I mean, she is no stranger to solo blocks, but that's still got to feel good against the power of Collins. Absolutely. Hudson just has to place it over. Anderson looking to Shacoin and the overdig back to Purdue. Shaquille tries to snap it down the line, but that's going to be a point for the Illini, just sailing a little bit wide. Starting to see a little bit more defense from Illinois right now. We saw a lot to start out the match from Purdue, but then we're seeing Raina Terry and this whole defense play some more right there. She stops that ball, keeps her team in play. That's what Illinois is going to need to stay in this match. It's your top scoring outside who's making digs like that off a fiery arm. Purdue picking up the point. They're up by 10 now, 20 to 10. But I'm glad we got another look at that dig because that exemplifies the six rotation player that she is.
Perry. This time Chapoin taking a little heat off. Anderson beautifully setting it on a tee for Myers. Beautiful set from Anderson there. Coming all the way from the back row. She's able to get up to the net, take one hand, just put that ball up. And then great job by Myers adjusting to a ball that probably isn't as high as she would need it. But she's able to still get a kill off of a nice swing. Great play all around. Off the over pass. Just a point that's sent back. Beautiful play run there by Woolard. I mean, you have Lourdes Myers running behind, fooling the blockers on the other side, and then McKenna Woolard absolutely ready to crush a ball down the line against a solo blocker. Woolard, an Illinois native, his family connections to the University of Illinois as well. Good read by Colvin. And a back row blast from Hudson delivers for the kick. One of my favorite things about Eva Hudson is how dynamic she is. You see right here, she starts her approach, has to kind of stop, still gets up, great, powerful swing. She's what you call a low-maintenance attacker because she can adjust to any set given to her, keep it in play, and even kill it. A little awkward off of Barry. Chicoin dents the floor with that swing. And Chloe Chicoin absolutely got up there and pulled out the hammer for that ball. She has such a fast arm swing, and when you pair that with her great jump and athleticism, that's when you get those highlight reel kills like that one. And a set point for Purdue, trying to make quick work of the Illini in set one. Terry into the block. Seeing Raina Terry there trying to will her team back into this, saying we might not get this set, but we need to build momentum going into the second set. The match is not over after one set. Yes, we're down right now. Start building some momentum so we can carry it on as the rest of the match goes. Terry back to serve. They like this rotation, but that will do it for set number one. Just 11. You win many sets when you give up that many freebies to the other team. to Hudson over the block the pancake by Mosier not there in time and registering the kill is Purdue smart play there by Eva Hudson she sees four hands up in front of her she knows that that donut that middle of the court is likely going to be open in their defense Mosier's trying to come up to save that ball just gets there a second too late beautiful shot by Eva Hudson an incredible range that we see from Hudson to the variety showing off the IQ Mosier at the net, it is Burbage trying to go high hands. Up the middle, and Colvin snaps it down with authority. We touched on it a little bit in the first set, but Raven Colvin can be such a force on the offensive side of the ball. And she's a player that this Purdue team really wants to get involved more because when she's on fire, she can be extremely efficient and hasn't quite got there yet this season. Hitting only 233 for the season entering this match, which you want to be a lot higher for your middle, still finding that groove. Great effort by Hudson and set a point for Illinois. Part of that groove when you're a middle is getting that connection with your setter. And this year they have a freshman setter in Taylor Anderson. So definitely, you know, working through some of those kinks in the offense. But I'm sure Raven Colvin, we saw that beautiful kill. She's definitely trying to become more efficient for this team. She's also sharing time with Lauren Poulter. There's an ace for the Illini to tie this up. So that's another factor in Purdue, finding that connection and cohesion offensively when you do have setters swapping in and out. It's definitely a very difficult thing to do when you have multiple setters playing. Vanessa Pan serving. And the block. It is Kennedy Collins and Raina Terry sending it back. Raina Terry and Kennedy Collins put up an absolute wall there. Looks like Purdue's not quite sure they think that one win might have gone out, but Eva Hudson definitely going for hands there, trying to tool the blocker out of bounds to get a kill. And that will be challenged. It'll be interesting to see on a closer look where that ball does land. Each coach receiving two challenges per match. 
A reversal means they retain that challenge. If it is confirmed, you lose that challenge for the rest of the match. So have to be strategic. You have to trust your players, trust your eyes. That did happen, you know, right in front on this side of the court. Challenges have played a big part in both of these teams' seasons so far. They've been in multiple five-set matches that have included dozens of challenges throughout those matches. So really big part of the game. And we'll see here. I'm thinking that they're trying to challenge whether that ball landed in or not. If the ball touches any part of that line, it means it's in. So uh, let's see. Looks like it does touch the line. Looks like that lands in. And the call is confirmed. That means Coach Shondell of Purdue losing that one challenge. He did look close, though. Definitely a close one. Pan shallow serve for the back row. It is Shacoin, and she's able to cut it off the shoulder of Pan for a kill. Pan caught with her hands down in front of her instead of ready to maybe move them up and use her hands to set that ball instead of use her platform. But great shot there by Shacoin, just clipping the net for the kill. Off the tape and down a beautiful ace. Flipping the net yet again. The net has been Purdue's friend so far this set, but beautiful serve there by Hudson going for a short serve, probably trying to take Kennedy Collins out of that offense by getting the ball in the way of her path. It's five aces. Joust at the net and Purdue keeps it up. Bozier back set for Collins. will land off the swing from Shacoin, reading it off the block. Chloe Shacoin, just like Eva Hudson, they're both such dynamic athletes. And on that play, Shacoin has a double block set up in front of her, two big blockers, and she's able to just use the top of Brooke Mosier's hands to have that ball fall on the other side. Collins so good off the slide. She's been a bright spot offensively, her third kill. Kennedy Collins on the slide is almost automatic at this point. She runs it so well off of one foot, but she has such great vision of not just the blockers, but the defense on the other side of the net and where is open on the court. Terry, an excellent server. Pushing it over is Woolert. And then Terry ripping it. Seen this play call run a lot so far for Illinois. We see Raina Terry coming up the middle. We call that the pipe in the back row. Kenny Collins staying in front of the center. So it's overloading those blockers and allowing Raina Terry to beat them from the back row. And she's lethal from there too. She's lethal from everywhere. That sails a little bit wide that time. The Illini have struggled a bit with airs this season. Coming into this match had 70 aces to 130 airs, but they know they have to play that game and be aggressive, so you just accept the good airs versus the bad ones. Colvin just off the tape once more. Mosier flipping it over. Collins with the back set. How about that? Collins tipping it over once more. Nunji rolls shot is picked up by the Boilers. Bozier looking to the slide again, and that is just wide by Collins, and Purdue comes out on that extended rally. Saw a lot of nice defensive plays there, some good hustle on both sides of the court. Kennedy Collins going for that slide, just misses it long, but I like that they're using her in transition and not just in a perfect pass situation. Great effort by Terry, and near Shank, and she saves it. Up the middle, what a set and what a finish by Mike. Smart play there by Purdue, able to know I'm going to run my middle on a quick ball when this Illinois team is hustling, attempting to get back into position. Great hustle by Raina Terry, and then a quick finish. Smart play there to set your middle to end off that point. Colvin keeps it in. The serving's been on fire for the Boilermakers. Their fifth, excuse me, sixth ace so far.
Raven Colvin is a fantastic server. She leads this team in aces. So fun to see from a middle getting that done from the end line because they don't necessarily have to have that opportunity back there to serve. Back row again, it is Terry unloading. Shacoin is stopped. Kennedy Collins stepping in front. When you have someone who hits the ball as hard as Chloe Shacoin, when it's blocked back, it's going to be blocked back even harder. And that's exactly what happened here. Kennedy Collins getting up, absolutely sealing the net. And that ball goes back just as quickly as it came. Collins top 10 in the conference and blocks per set. She is a force. Terry, beautifully done. Mosier finding Nunji. That stays on this side of the net, so a point for Purdue. That point featured a lot of attempts for Illinois' offense to get going, but they weren't as intentional with bettering the ball and putting it right on top of their setter's head throughout that entire play. Multiple overpasses, and when you keep erroring like that and you're not as intentional with putting that ball where it needs to be, that's when you're not going to score that point. Hornung is a little too long, and that will bring Illinois within three now. Set number one, dominance by Purdue, 21 to 11. They must have known a response is coming. And looking much stronger as the lineup. Up the middle, Myers, what a dig by Barnes. And then the termination by Burbage, and they want to get her involved as opposite. Kayla Burbage on the right side is someone that Coach Thomas wants to give increased volume to. Right here, some great defensive play by Illinois. Great dig by Caroline Barnes. Mosier setting that back to Burbage, trying to get her involved more in this offense, and she puts it away. Mosier looking to Burbage one more time. And somehow kept up by the Illini. Great effort by Barnes. the block to perfection. Seeing some relentless hustle from this Illinois defense. We're seeing digs, we're seeing Caroline Barnes running all over the court to get up a dig there and then chasing down her other teammates' balls here, running all the way back. Unfortunately, when you send a free ball to a team like Purdue, they're gonna execute on that ball. So Illinois back on service Eve here. We could have almost played that if Barnes didn't get to it. I was ready. <laughs> Burbage unloading again. That looks strong from the former middle. Kayla Burbage has a very heavy arm swing, and when she's able to get on top of that ball, she brings a lot of power. She connects really well here with setter Brooke Mosier on the outside pin, which she's traditionally playing right side for them in this match. So just a great run, and starting to see some sparks from Burbage so far in the second set. Nunji back to serve. Going up the middle again is Purdue. Burbage placing it perfectly on that attack. Beautiful shot there by Burbage. She sees that the blocker's inside, that left back defender has come up, and since they're running her on an inside set, inside the court, it gives her more court to work with, more court vision and more line to play that ball down. She places that perfectly, takes a little bit of heat off to score. And as a former middle, that's something that really works for her. Being able to go off of one foot and change up her approach on the right side pin definitely comes from her middle experience. Illinois can't dig it that time. It's back to a two-point lead for Purdue in a much more closely contested second set here in West Lafayette. Definitely much more of what I expected. These are two very good defensive teams who had a goal of serving tough this match. Right to Barry. Here is Hudson between blockers, and she gets it to fall. Such an impressive shot there by Eva Hudson. She gets up, she has blockers in front of her, and that's an out of system set coming from the libero. Two blockers, she cuts that right by the middle's left hand, right to where the defender isn't. Beautiful veteran shot there by Eva Hudson. Mosier up from her knees goes to Terry. Getting the upper hand, Hudson off the fingers. 
Beautiful dig there by Barnes. Just had a little bit too much heat on it and able to overpass that ball. Hudson's going to take advantage of a ball like that, which is exactly what she did here, tooling it off of Burbage's hands. Timeout called by Illinois. They're within four here in set number two, trying to get a top 20 win on the rope. This here is Shelly, who wrote you this. Illinois battling in set number two, but still looking for some sharpness. Illinois is looking better than they were in set one, but I think what they're lacking right now is a little bit of the intent and discipline to better each and every touch that they have on the ball. Make it better for your next player on the team. Big dig, a nice one by Torna. Cross court goes Mosier to Terry. Mosier looking to Terry once more, and she's going to fire wide there. That's her fifth air. Five errors for Raina Terry is definitely not characteristic of her, but this Purdue's defensive scheme for the night is to put up a solid block on her. That's exactly what they're doing. They know that ball is going to her in any out-of-system situation, and they're putting up four hands in front of her. Terry once more, and dug by Skimmerhorn. goes off the block. Eva Hudson is so impressive, even when she doesn't kill the ball. The set right before that other one, she was able to keep a ball in play that wasn't an ideal situation. She's so dynamic as an athlete that she's able to get up there. That ball might not be where she wants to kill it, and she can keep her team alive. That ends a 5-0 scoring run for Purdue, making it a five-point contest here in set two. Purdue picking up a set and one win, 25 to 11, tied for the fewest they've allowed in any set in Big Ten play. That against Maryland. Off the slide, it is Colvin, but it is Illinois picking up the point. Raina Terry getting absolutely fired up after that block, and she should be. She sealed that net, a one on one block against Raven Colvin. She gets up so high, reaches out her hands a little bit, and presses back into the middle of the court. Explosive offensively and defensively is Terry. Mosier chasing it down, looking to Terry, who's the hot hand right now. Uh, and that works. Raina Terry is going to do everything in her power to will her team back into this match to try to take this second set. And that's what she's used to. She has a lot of pressure. She's the focus of other teams' defenses all the time. She steps up to the occasion most of the time. She's got more than double the swings of any other teammates. Hudson tooling it once more where she's found success. There are just some great outside hitters in this match. Great players all throughout the court, but when you have Raina Terry, Eva Hudson, Chloe Shaquin, all three of those players are in the top of the conference in kills per set, and it's because of how crafty of hitters they are. They know how to score in multiple different ways. Strength only gets you so much. Closure going to Terry, and this time she tools it off the block for a point. Once again, she has a great arm swing, and she has a lot of power behind that hit, but she's able to see that the block on the other side isn't pressed over enough. Their hands aren't sealing the net. She can tool those hands and make that ball send out of bounds. Great, smart, disciplined play there by Raina Terry. Big dig by Pan. Here's Terry going off speed. Incredible effort by Terry. Collins flipping it over and kept off the floor by the Boilermakers. Anderson up the middle, it is Colvin, and out of nowhere is Mosier. And then finishing it off is the Illini, a well-deserved point. That's a point that not only makes you out of breath, but also can really be a momentum switch. Illinois fought for every single touch in this play, making incredible defensive plays, able to finish it off on a beautiful Raina Terry tool off the block. Hudson, no returning that much power. 
Eva Hudson catches uh, Libero Barnes just a little bit high on her platform, so it ricochets off of her. Another smart hit by Hudson that she combines her IQ with her power. Leads everybody with 11 kills, just two airs hitting 409 against this Illini team. Great effort by Mosier, and Terry takes care of it. Once again, I knew there were gonna be some fantastic outside hitters in this match tonight. When you have hitters like Reyna Terry, it's going to be a slugfest. She has such a powerful arm swing and just such a smart, high IQ volleyball player. And Elena, you know this, it is not easy to set from an awkward angle like we just saw from Mosier. Not at all. Beautiful set by Red Mosier that I overlooked talking about the great kill by Ray <laughs> Terry. But Mosier is working her butt off to be able to get to some of these balls that aren't great passes and still put up hittable sets for her players. Hey, I'm with you. Terry kills, take your breath away. But you gotta give the love to the setters. What am I doing? <laughs> that was the setter. <laughs> Colvin back to serve. On the overpass, kept up by Purdue. And the next contact not there, a point to Purdue, and they got this Illini team in disarray. That's what I was talking about a little bit earlier, is Illinois is making the plays, they're making the hustle moves, and they're making the right plays, but they're just not controlling them to target where they should be, and giving their team an opportunity to get their offense going. Timeout called by Illinois, within four, needing this set to victory against the number 19 team in the country. Streaming now on Fox Nation in all new. Last year's Big Ten Freshman of the Year in All-American Eva Hudson playing like it today. 11 kills on 22 swings hitting 409. Eva Hudson is so impressive as a hitter, but also just an all-around six rotation player. She truly can do it all for this team that has other weapons as well that step up on the court. She realized coming into this year she would have to step up her game with the addition of one of the top players in the country, Chloe Shacoin, that she was not entitled to all these swings and sets coming her way, and she welcomed it. And that just shows the competitiveness that she and Chloe possess. Great mindset to have. Mosier looking for Terry, who flies through and gets the kill. I really love that Illinois' offense is using Reyna Terry out of the right back. They're running her in what we call a D ball when Brooke Mosier is in the front row, and they are keeping Kennedy Collins in front. So you're able to spread out that offense and keep Reyna Terry involved when she's in the back row. Collins getting Purdue out of system, and it is Waller who tools it off. Great pass there by Purdue to start off that play, and then Kenna Wohler able to notice that Nunji isn't pressed over. She's a little late on the block, so using those hands to get a great quick kill from the right side of the court. Allie Hornung, the defensive specialist, back to serve. Nice pass from Pan, and hop the middle. It is Terry, but a, just a bit too long. I like that run. I like everything about that play. They connected very well. Raina Terry, just a little too much heat on the ball. You saw it in her face right after the play. That's one she probably wants back, and I wouldn't be surprised if they run her again. Hitting 143, a shallow serve by Horna. Great effort by Shacoin. But the point awarded to the Illini. Great effort there by Shacoin. Looks like they just called them for four touches, but one of those things that makes this team really special is that they do not give up on any plays, especially a ball when Chloe Shacoin can speed up and get there like that one. Mosier too long there, giving the point to the Boilermakers, and suddenly they are inching closer to set points. Chloe Shacoin on the service line is exactly who Purdue is going to want right now. She's leading this team in aces so far this match. Shacoin. Back to serve and taking care of it is Burbage down the line with power. Fantastic job there by Brooke Mosier to push that set all the way out to the antenna, antenna for Burbage to be able to swing down the line. The blockers on Purdue aren't all the way to that antenna. Burbage has a great angle down there, down the line, with some heat on it as well. Illinois within four now. Hudson 
and right there is Barnes skying in. And on the other side, Skillboard, unreal defense, and Hudson pulls it down the sideline. The liberos on both teams right now are showing off with some great defensive hustle plays, but then of course, Eva Hudson finishes off that play with a smart kill down the line. And it is set point for Purdue. Crowd on its feet at Holloway. Terry has that sent back. She is stuffed. And no surprise, Colvin in on the play. And it is 2-0 Purdue here at home as we head to set number three. Purdue has been absolutely firing both offensively and defensively. We see a beautiful Raven Colvin block there. Illinois hasn't been able to find the momentum that they need, get their offense going, making a few too many errors, both from hitting and the service line. We had to set number three here at Holloway. 25-19 is the Purdue victory in set number two. Strong across the board is Purdue. Offense, defense, making it happen on their home court. We had the set number three taking over in the second set for Purdue, Eva Hudson and Chloe Shacoin. And for Hudson, it's the addition of the freshman that has elevated her game even further. It's just fun to have someone in the gym to compete with and really push you to be better, um, especially since I had such a great season last year and just to be able to be humbled and like you're not you're not as good as you think and there's people behind you who want to take your spot and I think that's always a great thing to have in the gym because that's what makes teams better. They've got 43 of their team's total 66 attacks combining for 19 kills through two. These two players are the, a dynamic duo for Purdue. They're both very similar in their style of play, and they both have a similar mindset of they both want to be the best. Having these two on the same side of the net for Purdue makes them even better because they complement each other so well. Head coach Dave Shondell was telling us before the match that Eva Hudson leads by example. She's a bit more of an internal player, and then Chloe Chagoin is very outward. Just complement each other so well, obviously personality-wise, and then they both can kill the ball. They clearly want to be great. They want this program to be great, and I like what Coach Shondell says. He's talking about Eva. They start to work out together. She says, I have work to do. And that's the kind of mentality you want to see when you bring in a great player into your program. It'll be Anderson serving for Purdue. An opportunity to close the door. And they started off on a great note. Another ace for Anderson. That's her second today. Purdue serving tough this entire match so far, and Illinois hasn't quite figured it out. That is seven compared to two. And then an overpass. It's almost as good. Up the middle, it is Colvin, but kept up by Barnes. Right back to Colvin, and the Illini read it. Bingham new into this match. And Kennedy Collins, a brick wall. Illinois' defense really stepping up so far to start this set. We've seen some beautiful digs here from Lauren Barnes against Raven Colvin, who is not an easy player to defend. And then Kennedy Collins able to put up a wall as a blocker. Great defense all around from the Illini to start the set. It's a must-win set for the Illini to avoid a sweep. Hudson going off speed, and it works. Such a smart shot there by Eva Hudson. You see her smiling after that because those are one of the plays that you're like, I'm going to score in this ball without hammering it to the floor. Sets maybe not exactly where she wants it, has a double block in front of her, places it so perfectly in that back corner. Those are looking at Terry and picked up by Hudson. Slide. It is Collins, but into the next, and Purdue gets the point. 
A rare misconnect there for Kennedy Collins on the slide. She's typically so efficient, but Purdue putting up a great double block there. So when you see four hands in front of you, sometimes that can get intimidating. That's one of those she's just going to wash off. The Illini hitting under 100 in this match as a whole. Great touch by Collins. And from the back row, it's Hudson. Shaquoin flipping it over and flying everywhere is Barnes. Purdue picking up the point off the attack here by the Illini. Illinois is playing some great defense, but they're just not executing the way they need to. Letting Purdue get on a service run like this one is not what they need to be able to claw their way back into this match. Hudson, that is out too long. The Illini trailing by two. We'll be back to serve. And Terry, just who they want there. Top 10 program history in aces. Target Shaquin. Wooler unlocks. For the back row, it's Hudson again. Skimmerhorn, excellent job. Shaquin getting it over. Burbage off the block, but into the nets and a point to the Illini. Those type of plays are what I expected from this match. Some great defense on both sides of the net. Both of these teams are great blocking teams. So when you put up a solid block, you allow your defense to get settled behind them. And that's when you're going to see those longer rallies. We've seen the Illini battle like they did last week against Penn State. Up the middle. They want more of that from Raven Colvin in this offense. That's such a fun kill because, yes, Raven Colvin didn't hammer it down into the floor, but her hang time on that set, she's such a dynamic athlete, so she needs the ball set really high, which is really difficult to do, but she's able to hang up there and put that ball away. Two kills for Colvin. Up the middle, flipping it over with speed is Collins. And the block. Not enough, it was touched to point to Illinois. Really smart play there by Kayla Burbage, knowing that she's in a difficult situation, a bit of a trap set, so she sees those blockers' hands. She's going up with the intention of hitting the hands and throwing it off out of bounds. Really well executed tool from Burbage. Trying to make something happen when it's not ideal. Absolutely. Up the middle, Myers. We saw a whole lot of that in set one, and she finishes. When you have players like Hudson and Shaquin on your team, it's easy to forget about your middles, but then you have Lourdes Myers in the middle, and that's a player that you want to set, and she's working really hard in transition to make herself available for her setter. Purdue with the two-point lead. A shallow serve by Hornock, getting Illinois out of system here. Shaquin. And kept alive by the Illini. And it is Hudson terminating. Beautiful play all around there by Purdue. We saw Maddie Skimmerhorn with a great dig to start off the rally. And then who else other than Eva Hudson out of the back row? So there's a seam in that block, able to get some hands in the front row and the back row. Beautiful kill by Hudson. And but Illinois they might be challenging it. <laughs> looks like Illinois is going to be challenging it. Trailing by three, the first challenge we have seen from Coach Thomas in this match. We've seen Coach Shondell use and then lose that challenge. So he has one remaining. We couldn't be looking at. And they are going to make sure that Hudson did indeed stay behind that attack line. She cannot cross it with her foot. She can land on the other side, but once she takes off into that swing, has to be behind it. Looks like she was pretty clear behind that. Call confirmed. Points to Purdue. And that was a quick review and a quick decision. So the score stays how it is. Each team with one challenge remaining. Hornup. Again, leaving it shallow, and Barnes reads it well. Tooling it off the block is Bohm. Trying to get in on the offense. 
Really great play there by Bohm to still find a way to get involved in the offense. That serve was served short in front of her traditional route as a front row middle who would usually run a slide when your setter's front row. She's still able to get up and get a kill on a ball when the serve was designed to get her out of the offense. Mosier into the net to surface air will make it a three-point lead for Purdue. Shaquine serving. Already three aces in this match. That gives her 18 this season. Mosier looks to Bingham, and that is going to sail out of bounds. Purdue definitely picking up a little bit momentum. We've seen some service runs from them so far throughout this entire match, specifically when Chloe Shaquin is behind that service line. The overpass for Purdue. Shaquin has to make something out of it. And somehow she does. Smart play there by Shaquin, but I'm not entirely happy with what I'm seeing on that Illinois side. That's definitely something, a ball they should be able to handle. And I think that's what Coach Thomas is probably talking to his team about right now. That's a point that you need to fight for, especially when you're battling back in the third set, down two. 10 to five is the Purdue lead. In a desperate situation is the Illini on the road. Travis Kelsey. And looking forward to seeing OSU after that sensational final drive against Notre Dame. Out of the middle again, it's Lourdes Myers, but picked up by the Illini. Big dig from Skimmerhorn. Bingham, fling that out of bounds. And a point to Purdue to go up by six. Beautiful dig there by Skimmerhorn in this play. She stopped on defense, so she's able to read where that attacker is going and then make a great defensive move, move sacrificing her body to keep that ball in play and keep her team alive. So well executed with just one arm, two. Shaquan fires that one into the net. When you have a topspin serve like Chloe Shaquin does, those tosses are really hard to manage. Looked like that toss got a little bit too far out in front of her. She had to try to scramble to get her feet there. Those are the ones that you miss serve occasionally. It's kind of a high risk, high reward kind of serve. Absolutely. Anderson tries to dump it in. Here's Terry as that set back. Bingham on the other side gets the touch. Illinois looking to get a little bit more offense going from that right side pin. We've been seeing a lot of Reina Terry so far this match. We have Sarah Bingham coming into the court, getting a quick kill, trying to provide a little bit of a spark on that right pin. Lily Berry serving for the Illini and a must win set three off the slide. Laura's Myers Ooh. terminates. Beautiful run there by Lourdes Myers. They're keeping her inside on what we call an inside slide attack. So her approach makes it look like she's running all the way to that pin, fools the blockers a little bit. She's able to cut it off inside the court for a quick kill. Skimmerhorn, she goes into the net as well. So that brings the Illini with in four. And we have just consistently, Elena, throughout this entire match, seen a cushion for Purdue, and they've been able to maintain that. Can the Illini put together a run? Shaquin. And Bingham gets it to fall. Absolutely spectacular set there by Brooke Mosier. She's running all the way to the completely other sideline, and she's able to push that ball all the way back to her right side. Just such an athletic, dynamic set. Gives her hitter a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. What can happen when so much attention is on Terry, and there's Shaquille tooling it off the block. That goes off of Barnes. He'll take that ace. 
Anderson is a fantastic server. She's able to get on top of that ball and have it float just perfectly. So that ball looked like it even would have dropped on the end line if Barnes hadn't touched it. Anderson menace at the service line. Gets the Illini out of system and earns her team a point in the process. Once again, it starts from a great serve by Anderson that forces that Illini passers to pass it just a little bit too tight. Mosier's back row. She has to try to go up with one hand and is called for being over the net as a back row setter. Mosier looking to tear in. There is Skimmerhorn, but a net violation. That's going to give the point to the Illini. Sometimes when you're a great blocking team, you also get called for being in the net a little bit. Sometimes can get caught being a little bit undisciplined, but you're trying to get up there. You're trying to stop a player like Reyna Terry. Those are going to happen every now and then. You got to just go to the next play. Just the slightest bit. No, even Colvin's hair doesn't count. <laughs> Terry taking some heat off. Skimmerhorn, the bump set to Hudson. And a point to the Illini, that seals long. Just a little bit of a miss hit there by Eva Hudson. She looks a little bit like she wants that one back, but you know, great run there. Eva Hudson's exactly who you want to be setting when it's late in the third set. You have a lead trying to close out that match. Pan going to Shaquan, passes it perfectly, but sent back by Collins. And Illinois picking up the point, feeling some energy on their side, especially defensively. When you have blockers like Kennedy Collins and Reyna Terry up with each other, especially when the set is a little bit inside the net, that's when you're going to be in a difficult situation as an attacker. And Illinois is starting to pick up some momentum from the block. Six blocks for the Illini, three for Purdue. Big dig by Barnes, and a point to Purdue. Couldn't quite keep it in play on their side. Illinois is making the right moves. They're making the right plays, just not able to completely control them in the aspect that they want them to, to put themselves in a better position to run their offense. Only that's something that Coach Thomas has talked about. He says our season is not for a lack of trying. In fact, it's trying too hard that we are pressing in a lot of situations. And sometimes that's where you get caught, especially when you're playing so many good teams in the Big Ten. You get caught trying really, really hard. I'm playing against All-Americans right now. I'm playing against top 25 teams. I need to play my absolute best. But when you put that type of pressure on yourself, that's when some of these easy errors come about. And that's what Coach Thomas wants to let his team play a little bit more free. They're trying to get to that point. He wants them to settle in, not get distracted by the emotions of the match, the environment, as you said, who they're playing. But it seems like that has been something that's plagued them in this match. The 17-13 Purdue, keeping the Illini at bay yet again in set number three. The net pushed over by Collins and somehow kept alive by Chacoin. From the back row, my goodness, Hudson, she absorbed that fire and they get the point. The relentless defensive hustle from Purdue throughout this entire play. Chloe Chacoin sacrificing her body and then Eva Hudson able to dig a one on none attack from Reyna Terry. Chloe Chicoin finishing it off. That's just a highlight real play from that entire Boilermaker team. The fearlessness to step in front of that from Terry, one on none, as you pointed out. The Illini, though, will get the point in their favor this time. Kudos to Eva Hudson, because I would <laughs> not want to be on the other side of a Reyna Terry attack with zero blockers in front of her. Knocked her back, but not out. No, she got that dig up. This time it is Skimmerhorn with a nice pass. And that sets up Shacoin. Perfect in system volleyball. Great pass. Beautiful set from Anderson, who's moving backwards. That's a really difficult set to make when your body weight's going one way and you have to push the ball the other way. She gets it all the way out to that pin. Chloe Shacoin, freshman to freshman, able to finish off that play. 
Hornung serving for the Boilermakers. Makes it tough. Burbage lands it. Great swing there by Burbage. She's finding every way she can to score when she's on that outside pin. She gets up here. There's a block in front of her. Great set by Mosier. She's able to swing over that block and get it to drop by that back end line. Burbage second on the Illini. Seven kills for her as that goes into the net for a service air. And a critical one here at this point, making it a five-point lead and getting Purdue to 20. It's really difficult to kind of balance that. You want to serve aggressive, but you don't want to error, especially at the end of the set here, because if you send an easy ball to Purdue, they're going to kill it right away. But when you make an error, you don't even give your team an opportunity. Chicoyne and a topspin serve. And another ace. And that's her career high for a match of four. Chloe Chicoyne from that service line is absolutely scary. Right now, she's getting on top of that ball, able to spin it just so it drops in front of the passer. Such a difficult ball to read as a serve receiver and to get up. Purdue looking to close the door on the Illini of 21-15 at home. Up and down when it comes to their defense tonight, though. Forcing the Illini to hit 132, and that's just where they want to keep that opponent. Purdue's defense is typically one of their strengths, and we're seeing that tonight for sure. From the service line, they're being really offensive, but then they're putting up a great block, some great digs. They're able to hold this Illinois offense to hitting 132, not really letting them get any momentum going. It all starts from the service line, especially when you have Chloe Chicoyne back there. Purdue entered this match with the second highest oppo opponent hitting percentage in the Big Ten at 232. So they're able to tamp down on a whole lot here against the Illini. Off the slide, it's Bingham and dug by Hornick. And Hudson drills that ball. That is a highlight real kill by Eva Hudson. She's able to get up so high, and that's such a hard shot to cut. She has to turn her thumb down to get that ball to land inside the 10-foot line, and then when you combine that with her power, it makes it almost impossible to defend. Chicoyne. going to Purdue. Purdue has all of the momentum right now, and you have Chloe Chicoyne behind that service line. This is looking to be a really good recipe for this Purdue team that's looking to bounce back after a difficult past weekend. Chloe Chicoyne just long there. Once again, when you're a topspin server, sometimes it's difficult when your toss can be a little bit off, but she has been so fantastic from the service line. You're going to allow some of those errors. Chances dwindling for the Illini. And that's going to be match points off the service air. Purdue trying to make it clean from start to finish. shot.
ये हम आए वो ये रन तुरै याद सहारे रह के करा से तू बोलिया बोल गई अशोक अकेला के कहलू के साथ न छोड़ा गे के करा सहारे रह के करा से तू बोलिया बोल गई अशोक अके हमारे किया से 